In the suburbs of Hama, rebel fighters are on the offensive. In the past 24 hours, they've managed to take over two government-controlled military checkpoints. The battle in the north of Hama is being led by fighters from Al Farouk brigades and a coalition of other rebel groups who fall under the command of Al Nusra Front. This is what's left of one of the checkpoints captured by opposition fighters on Tuesday. The burned out remains and the destroyed tank are signs of just how fierce the battle was. This position is now under our control. One tank was destroyed and its crew killed. The remaining regime forces retreated. We will advance beyond the town of Morik and take control of the highway connecting Hama with Wadi al Daif in order to cut off the regime's supply lines. While President Assad's forces had indeed retreated, they weren't far away. As they were filming, Al Jazeera's team came under fire from government tanks. Away from the checkpoint and on the way to the nearby village of Kafrazita, it's difficult to find a single building still intact. Assad's air force has been pounding this town for days now. Those lucky to survive continue to suffer in this ill-equipped field clinic. First they bombard us with shells, then with barrels filled with explosives. Now they drop containers, each filled with two tons of explosives. Today we received two dead bodies and more than 10 others were injured. We're doing our best to treat them. Not even Kafr Zita's main mosque was spared. Bombed from the sky, a large hole is left in its roof. And just as the massive death toll has shown this war's contempt for the sanctity of life, the destruction of mosques shows too that very little, if anything, is still considered sacred in Syria's war. Jamal al-Shayyal, al-Jazeera.